Hey everyone, welcome to the second part of this pro series of HTML tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be working with word spacing, we're going to be working with links and how to change CSS styles. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is going to the HTML document that we made in last week's tutorial. As you can see, we've got our banner, we've got the uh, menu bar directly below it, uh, the left content and the right content. So we are going to be in this tutorial adding a footer below it. We are going to be adding some content and adding some spacing to just make this website look a lot better. So we're going to put this to the side and we're going to open it up in Dreamweaver. Um, we're going to drag this to, we're going to snap this to the side and snap this one to the side. Um, uh, actually I am going to make it a bit wider just so I can see all the content. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is if we if we make this a bit wider actually as well, um, if we look at the menu bar, we can see that we have don't have very very much spacing. So we want to look for the menu bar uh, CSS line div uh, hash menu, and anywhere in here we can start doing text. Um, sorry, not text. Uh, not text, we want word, word dash spacing, and we can add some spacing in here. So we're going to add spacing of 15px, which stands for pixels. So if we go to File Save or uh, Control S, and then go back to our document, press refresh or F5, we can see we've got a spacing now in between our links, which looks a lot nicer. That looks a lot better. So now we're going to add uh, links to all of the menu bar, so about.html or whatever documents you want it to link to, or external websites even. Um, so simply, we're simply going to go ahead and we're going to link all of these, so links.html. Um, and I'm not going to make all of these uh, pages, obviously. I may make the contact page later in the HTML Pro series, um, just to give you an idea of how to make contact forms. But anyway, so we're just going to add links to all of these, so ahref equals contact.html. Um, and then close the contact uh, link. Okay, so now we've got our links. If we press refresh, we can see, obviously they're not very nice color, they're the default link colors, and they all have underline, um, underlining. So we can change this, we can make the styles for the links a lot nicer. So we simply write in A, which is the uh, link, basically. Color, we can change the color of this to start with to make it a bit nicer. Um, what am I doing with spacing? There we go, right. That's better. So we can make it perhaps a, uh, a dark grey, um, and we are. If we look at the menu, we we see that we've automatically got underlined. So we can do none, simply to get rid of underlined content. So if we then uh, save this for starters, we can save this. So file save or Control S, press refresh or F5. We can see that we've now got uh, the links with no underlined and a nice dark grey colour. Now obviously when we put our mouse over them it doesn't change so we can we can we can write the script to make it change so A hover we can change the colour when we hover over it with our mouse to perhaps a darker grey so 333 333 text decoration we could now add underline and overline if we want or we can add whatever um, if we save this and go back to our page and press refresh you can see that if we mouse over, we've got a darker colour and underlining and overlining. Um, we are going to now have, again, no, uh, no text declaration when we scroll over, but instead we are going to change the font weight, So that's, and we're going to make it bold. So file save again, or control S, press refresh, and as you can see, it makes it bold when we mouse over it. So that's a nice effect to have. So we can simply leave that as it is. Now we are going to add a footer uh, below with copyrighted uh, copyright content and stuff, um, and obviously footer information. So below our container um, div, we're going to do div id equals footer, and we're going to close this. Now it's time to add our CSS line of coding for the footer. So we can copy. Uh, no, we're going to copy the banner, actually. Um, we're going to copy the line of code with the banner. So, if you want to copy that, Control c and the line below, paste it, and we're going to simply change it to footer. Uh, this all looks good. We're going to change the margin at the top to simply 10 pixels, so there's 10 pixel width between them. If we press refresh, 
you can see we've just got a line um, which is where our footer is going to be. So we're going to add content into our footer. So and copy, 2010, uh, Edward Johnson, or, uh, all rights reserved. That's just an example. You can write anything you want in here. Have a look at other footers in websites just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. If we press refresh, it has now appeared as a footer, but that's a bit big for a footer. So we're going to change things a bit. So we are going to add, we're going to add some padding. So we're going to add padding at the top of hmm, uh, 10 pixels. Um, actually, we're going to have five, five pixels and padding at the bottom of, <coughs> again, five pixels. And then we are going to add, we're going to change the font size. So oh, it's gone to the next row. Font size of eight pixels. We're going to try and we're going to save it. Mm, that's a bit small. So we're going to change it to 10. Press control, save um, and refresh. And that looks better. That looks a lot better, but perhaps a bit more padding. So I was right. <laughs> um, so 10 padding, padding of 10 pixels at the top and the bottom. Control S, F5 to refresh. And as you can see, we've now got it looking nice. Now it's time to add some content. It's looking fairly bare. So perhaps on the left hand side, we can add some social networking links. So t Twitter and then BRBR, BR, which is two line breaks. Uh, so Twitter, we've got. Uh, what else can we add? Facebook, uh, and then BRBR, BR, which is line break, line break. MySpace, BRBR. BR. Um, there is a way to add line breaks using CSS, but for now we're going to just use it with BRBR. BR. Um, and then YouTube, press File, Save, press Refresh. And as you can see, it's added them, but it hasn't, it's, it's added them, but outside of our container. And that's because the right content is the one that's controlling everything. There is a way to change this in CSS, which we can look at later on. But for now, we are simply going to fix this by adding more content on our right-hand side, on the right-hand side of the, uh, of the on the right-hand div. So we're going to add loads of line breaks here, just to give you an example. As you can see, it has made the whole container a lot bigger. But obviously, these are still outside. Okay, so now content for the right hand side. We are going to embed a YouTube video. So we're going to remove the line breaks. Um, there we go. And we're going to go and we're going to go to youtube.com and we're going to just go to my channel, um, Ed Johnson. And we are going to go to my latest video, update from Ed Johnson Skins Audition 2010. And we're going to click on the embed uh, button. Um, on the YouTube page and it should give us all these options so we can play in it in HD, include relative videos if we want, show border, any of this stuff and we can select the size. So we're going to select that size 640 by 385 and once you're happy with all the settings you can copy the code so right click copy and right click paste it, we're going to paste it into the right hand div and there we go it's pasted in. So if we go to file save, go back to our document and press refresh as you can see, we have now got the video, but it's going outside of the box a bit, so we're going to make it a bit smaller still. Copy the updated script and paste the new one in. File, save, or Control S. Refresh, and that's a bit smaller, so it's fitting in nicely, but it's still slightly big, so we can change it. With, we can actually just change the code. So width 500, height um, 280. So as you can see, I've removed 60 from each of them, so 500. 280. So you change the height on both those and width on both those scripts. File save, control, uh, refresh or F5 and as you can see it fits in our container nicely. Now the links, the social networking links, we can uh, align to the left. So we simply find the left one and go to the end and type in text align left uh, or right, no sorry, left. Um, and as you can see, they've all moved to the left now. We can add a bit of padding on the left before them just to make it a bit nicer so it's not right next to the border. So padding, again left, uh, 10 pixels. File save or control S and then F5. And as you can see, it is padding nicely. Now we can make it a bit less widthy. So width, 15. And again, just ignore that. That's supposed to say width. I don't know why it doesn't. Um, press refresh and there we go that is added it nicely 
but the YouTube link hasn't moved over to the, the YouTube video hasn't moved over to the center, and that is because if we look at the margin on the left, I'm going to change that to 15 pixels, press refresh, and as you can see, it has now aligned our content in the center. Now, with these social networking links, we're going to make them a bit nicer. So, if we go to the start and we type in and, you can see we've got all of these options for different symbols and different special characters. So, we're going to scroll down until we find one which we like. Now, in this case, I am going to be using Raquo, R A Q U O, and Raquo. Um, and I, I really like this, it's a really nice effect for uh, bullet points or uh, type bullet point kind of thing. So if we refresh it, as you can see it's given us two arrows which look really nice and make it really neat and professional. So there we go, we've now got our menu bar working, we've got our social networking links, our content. Um, obviously we can add anything in the content section, it doesn't have to be a YouTube video, it can be a different YouTube video, it can be text, anything you want. But we've got a really nice looking website now. Okay, thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe for next week's tutorial where I'll be continuing with this. Please also uh, comment and favourite this video if you enjoyed it. Bye for now.